Welcome to the video, I'm gonna talk about wheels. Let's get wheelie into this wheel business. What's the best, carbon? I've got 24 sets of wheels here, maybe 28 sets of wheels. Let's get through it, it's gonna be long vid, detailed, explicit, non-biased, straight up, no GCN style sponsorship here. Legit, straight up, honest, brutal truth. Let's get to it. Move to the bling, we've got the lightweights here. These are Gen 4 Millenstein clinches. Fantastic set of wheels. If you break a spoke, it's going to the bin, unfortunately. So they're a very nice wheel. Uh, braking track is worn reasonably well. Had these for a number of years. Quite a fair bit of usage on them. I uh, think they're still going strong. Make sure you run carbon pads. And here's a tip, is remove those little things because your pads get worn. They can scratch your rim, destroy your rim. So those pads, I should replace them pretty soon. But I keep an eye on my stuff a lot. So always keep an eye on your stuff if you're using carbon rims or any rim. Just pay attention to what you use. Safety first. Millenstein Gen 4 clinches. Thumbs up. DT Swiss internals. DT Swiss internals, again for the back as well. So that familiar DT Swiss sound, works good. So this is straight up honest review. If you don't like it, click off now. If you want the truth, stay with us. We've got the Envies. Uh, these are the DT Swiss ceramic hubs. So they're the 180. The hubs are probably the most expensive hubs you can get. They're actually quality. Carbon ceramic is a, a fantastic little hub there. This is on a rosin bike. Uh, the Envy wheels go, alright. They're you know, in the cross-section winds are quite blowy. Not a very stable wheel, but they look really cool and they, they ride nicely, pretty comfortable. Quite heavy, but the hubs, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go to the stands alpha, probably the most dangerous wheels on the planet. I've uh, blown off tires off these rims and uh, when they wear out, I'll be glad to chuck them in the recycling bin, so not a rim I'd let other people ride anymore. Too much chance of it blowing off the rim, unfortunately. So they have a good concept with the mountain bike, but the road ones, I found it to be extremely dangerous. So be careful with stands, road wheels. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear them. And it's a 340 blown tires off that. And this is the, the Alpha 400 also blown tires off that. So got a Hope Hub in the front, which has been fantastic, going well, going well. Over here we have a giant uh, XCR wheel set carbon rim, going really good. I did break some spokes, so the spokes are a little bit too lightweight, so I'll put some brass nipples on there. Add a bit of weight, we get durability, because if you're out in the bush and you bust a spoke, it's really inconvenient. Better have strength and lightweight out in the bush. The Giant TCR, this is a classic wheel set, probably the most famous giant wheel set on the internet ever. Uh, got these in 2013, five years old, still going strong, still going strong. Uh, cassette body's great. I put some new bearings in there recently in Thailand. The bearings do wear out after a few years. Otherwise, still going strong. So yeah, I rate this wheel set. Could be hard to get spokes and rims, depending where you live. But otherwise, great stock wheel set. Probably the best stock wheel set uh, on the market ever. The giant PSLR ones. Got a Novatech hub on here. Novatech, in my experience, have made some really bulletproof stuff. We've got it matched to a uh, an Alex rim. Again, Alex rims, 2.3 Evos. They're just strong, just strong. Novatech hub, dependable. Cheap brand, cheap wheel, but strong, dependable. Better than Chris King. Novatech, definitely better than Chris King. 100%. Better than Mavic. Incredible. On the front here, we've got another Hope Hub. You can tell I like the Hope Hubs. This is a Hope Hoops, and it's a Hope rim. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's been pretty good. No broken spokes. It's on the e-bike. It's had a lot of harsh wear and tear. Still going strong. And we've got some bananas over there. Don't panic. It's organic. We've got some Fulcrum Racing 5s. Haven't been a bad wheel set. Not too bad. You know, if you do break a spoke, it can be a bit hard to get new ones, but I can't complain too much. It's been all right. This Mavic wheel in here, again, really bad free hub design. Um, look at that. Look at that, look at that slop. Look at that. That's just like, that's hideous. So yeah, Mavic wheels, stay clear of them. Free hub bodies are shocking in my experience. Got another pair of Zip 202s. Again, same issue. Hubs, they get play, they get slop. You gotta tighten them up every week. So they're, you know, they're good for lightweight riders, but anyone over 60 kilos, don't ride them, in my opinion. We've got the S-Works bike here. This is the latest bling from Specialized, the Control SL. Beautiful rolling wheel. I think it's got DT Swiss internals. Rides really nicely. I have cracked inside an eyelet without you know, any impact crashes or anything like that. Just, you know, just ride along. I've done about 200Ks and sort of starting to crack inside. Just didn't make QEC quality control. I'll keep riding that and eventually uh, send off a warranty, but... A beautiful rolling wheel set, nice and wide, feels good, but quality rim, not so good. We've got the Zip 202s over here. 
the rim, really nice, comfortable ride, easy to get tires on and off. I, I like the rim, strip, rim strips work good. I rate the rim, no broken spokes, but the hubs, I think they're, they're quite shocking. They develop a lot of play, a lot of slop side to side. So they should put a DT Swiss hub on these wheels because the rims deserve it. The zip wheels are great, but the hubs are a big fucking letdown. Always coming loose. Terrible hubs. This is a new batch of spinnages. It is called the Z Lite. It's a little bit of a fatter rim. I've got a, I think it's got Hadley internals, Hadley hub internals. It's a beautiful wheel. Beautiful wheel. I really rate these. And again, super, super comfortable. Spinnergy Z Lite. Probably my favorite wheel set for durability, lightweight, and uh, ride quality. Ride quality, you can't get better than this in terms of comfort. We've got the Chris King hubs here. Uh, R45 hubs. Probably the shittest hub on the market. Just terrible. It, it just there. Yeah, just they get sloppy. The free hub body gets loose, just they look really nice, they sound, this one's dead, but uh, just yeah, expensive as fuck, but a big rip off in my book. These rims, Ambrosio rim, it's been going great, uh, working really well, I'm a fan of it, it's the Exolite in an uh, old school rim, look at that anodization there, how they do it, so it's old school in SSC, TQB, Exolite, Ambrosio, I'm a fan of those, uh, these spokes as well. Got some DT revolutions on there, still going strong, no breakages, and I've been pretty good. But the Chris King hubs, big letdown. All right, we're in the bathtub now. Tarmac's in the bathtub. Uh, let's have a look at what rules we've got. Again, okay, zips, these are alloy 303s. We've got a 404 here, alloy with a dimpled rim. And again, this is to another style, but USA made rim, I think it's in Indiana. Good quality, braking surface, works good. But again, the hubs, oh, these hubs, just, you know, get a bit sloppy. I think the newer hubs are worse on uh, my giant, but you know, the zip hubs, they're just, oof, what are they doing? What are they doing? Uh, this is a, a Dynamo hub. This is, a, what brand is it again? It's called, that's right, it's called a uh, SP PD8. Too many rims, hard to keep a hold of. What I've got, the H Plus Sun, it's an archetype rim. Quite rigid, strong, you feel the road on it, but this dynamo hub setup, very strong here. We've got a 36 spoke setup, so it goes with pretty strong disc brake. And uh, yeah, decent decent quality, haven't had a lot of K's in it, but it's been well. Shimano uh, C24 Durace, bearing still fantastic, rim still good quality. We've got a power tap hub here, uh, power tap hubs. They, they do wear out reasonably quick, the bearings. The free hub bodies, the free hub bodies, bad design. You can see that there, they just chew out, and then they chew out. So this is the bad design. They should put, do, do the American Classic when they have little pins in there. It's just a, I mean, I could design a, a better hub than this. You know, so the bearings, they do pit out a little bit, but not bad for, you know, for the money. Not bad. This is, we've got a Hope hub here. These are really good, this is a Pro 4. And uh, I rate the Hope, Hope product, it goes good. Again, it's on a H Plus Sun Archetype rim. But yeah, the, the Pro 4 is fantastic hub. Again, pretty cheap off chain reaction. I rate them, I definitely rate them. And the free hub durability, reasonable. Not too much etching in there, but uh, reasonably durable. Giant PSLR rims, I love these. Uh, can be hard to get if you do destroy them. The spokes, I've not had an issue. Some people haven't had an issue. It's a DT Swiss 240 hub uh, with a giant sticker on it. So these ones I definitely rate. They're super light. One of the lightest wheel sets you can get alloy and about 17 mil wide, I think, internal. I haven't had any issues with spokes. Some people complain about it, but I've had no issues. Been running them pretty hard and aggressively for four years. So I rate these giant wheels. DT Swiss hubs, perfect. Eddie Merckx, we've got a Bontrager rim on here. This is a, called a, a rim wear indicator and so you can generally go, you know, past that. You want to feel your rims. If your rims got like a real concave, it means they were getting pretty close to worn out. But these ones have got a fair bit left in them. Uh, the hub, DT Swiss internals, and so you, again, you can't go wrong with DT Swiss. It's a Bontrager label, DT Swiss hub, and that goes all right. Goes all right. We're gonna switch down here to a, a budget set of rims. I've got the most expensive eight thousand dollar wheels above me. Here we've got a budget set. This is Annex rims, and this is a, a wide rim. So the goes pretty good, I'll, I rate it. It's got a little cheap sort of Novatech hub in there. This bike hasn't ridden for a bit, but no hassles for that. It's been very, very durable. No busted spokes. 
So Alex Rims always make a good product, and this is a Reed bike, which uh, spec some good parts in here in 2018. These are some giant rims. Uh, the SX2 come off a giant tough road. Been going strong, had a lot of, lot of uh, you know, harsh riding on these. Hub's still good. So a very, very cheap wheel set. Still going strong. Got a giant wheel here. It's been all right. Braking surface, pretty good for carbon. Hub's been good, but has busted a spoke. It's got DT Swiss on there, so you can always guarantee a good quality of DT Swiss. So hub, thumbs up, spoke's a little bit weak. But again, it's a pretty lightweight wheel, so you can't expect too much strength. Got a Durace wheel on the front, Shimano. Uh, it's the C24, been really good. Quite durable, no hassles, no, nothing wrong there at all. So, got a great braking track, uh, easy to service. Spokes can be a little bit hard to get if you have them issues, but they've been very strong so far. Lightweight, fast, reasonably comfortable wheel. The Spinergy Zero lights, I've had these for six years now. Haven't skipped a fucking beat, these are good. The spokes cannot break, they're just indestructible. The uh, eyelets are also very, very strong. So it can be a hassle to get spare rims if you live in Australia, but again, very good uh, durability for the rim. So definitely I rate the Spinergy as the most comfortable wheel set you can get and they look pretty cool as well, different colors. So I rate the Spinergy's, big, big fan, great value wheel, very underrated. Here we have a wheel set I built up myself. We've got Durace hubs. Got some Zapman 32 gauge spokes, it's 30, uh, sorry, it's a um, 32 spoke wheel, quite strong. Rim wise, it's a H plus sun. Let's get it down to here, it's a H plus sun, uh, what's it called again, I forget. It is the, I, have, I, can, I forget even, forget the model number. It's a H plus box section rim, haven't done many miles on it, hardly been ridden. Shimoda hubs always, always a good one to get. These are R9000 hubs and they just work well. But yeah, H plus sun rim, always good. This sort of setup, if you break a spoke, it's cheap, easy to fix. You can do it yourself if you know what you're doing. First up, we have the Mavic Serum SL, uh, the SSC, what do you ever call it, Zealous. The braking surface, quite good. It really fucking shreds through pads. I just use standard pads. I don't buy the wanky Mavic ones. They're quite expensive. And the standard pads just work fine. Uh, durability of the rim, poor shit house. It's got a big hole, gaping hole near the, near the uh, Eyelet there, so it's been blowing tubes. So I've got to send that back to Mavic warranty. Free hub body cassette, really sloppy from day one. Shit, poor quality. Uh, spokes, no brokerages. Hasn't wheel hasn't been trued. Bearings good. Brake surface excellent. Rim quality extremely poor. Potentially dangerous. Front one, uh, there's no slop in the bearing. Feels pretty good. Again, spins true. So no complaints to the front wheel. What's your been your favourite wheel set? Let us know down below. A lot of wheels, I've ridden a lot more wheels in my life as well, so when I say something's good, legit, or shit, then that's just based on my personal experience, not something I've read online or whatever, it's a personal experience, you can't go past that, so best all round wheel set, Spinergy uh, Z lights, or Spinergy S Aero lights, uh, best value wheel set, easiest to maintain would just be like a H sub, H plus sunrim, Shimano hub, or Diddy Swiss hub with normal spokes, shittest wheel quality, I'd say Mavic free hub bodies up there with zip free hub bodies, pretty bad quality, uh, Chris King, poor quality hubs in my opinion. They're, the, they're probably the worst of the worst because I well, actually like them Mavic because they're both by themselves as prestigious companies. But the Chris King R45s with the classic hubs. Oh, the headsets are great. Don't get me headsets are great. The, the, the hubs, I mean, I, I would love to make them work. Yeah, but it's, it's so high maintenance. They come, they just, ugh, they're, they're definitely like a hub for posing. They're not a real hardcore dribble hub at all. Anyway, that's my personal experience. All first world problems. But I think if you're going to charge big bucks, you should deliver it with some big quality product. But again, most people don't ride their bikes very hard or ride as much as I do or have, etc. So I understand that you know, a lot of bikes just get purchased and hang up on the wall and look pretty. But I like to ride my product. I've never had a driver's license. I want to get somewhere. I want to jump on a bike to get there. So I understand that my demand for quality product often uh, exceeds what engine is spec on a certain product because they just want to get out the door they can look good, blah, blah, blah. So it's some fat banker who doesn't ride much at all. And um, anyway, first of all problems, that's the deal. Money, expensive price tag does never equate to cycling industry standards really. You know, if not many things in life, just because it's got expensive price tag, you're guaranteed pain-free. No, 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 no. It's almost more pain because you're like, oh my God, this costs so much money, but it's so shit. Anyway, first of all problems, if you want durability, DT Swiss, Shimano hubs, uh, rims, wheel sets would be the Spinergy uh, Zero or Z-Lights. Thanks for watching.